100 grams of this, 100 grams of this, of your blood meal. So make sure you don't put it in excess. Okay, so this is the last one. Are you experiencing poor growth in your broiler chicken? Stunted growth, poor uniformity, low weight in your broiler chicken all the time? Don't worry, because today I will be sharing with you the whole process I use my broiler production. Feed ingredient I use to supplement my chicken feed to ensure my broiler chicken meets the expected weight at the right time. The whole process is going to be shared here. So stay tuned, I will be right back. So welcome back. As I said earlier, we were talking about how to ensure your chicken, your broiler chicken grows well and meets the expected weight at the right time, even though they're suffering from poor stunted growth, poor uniformity. This is what I normally do. But before then, this is a disclaimer. This is my personal process of raising my broiler chickens. It's not a stated standard in any way. So this is my personal process of raising my brush chicken. Your brush chicken will do well, not necessarily you have to follow this process, but this is just my personal way of raising my brush chicken and ensure I make more profits and sell my chicken off at the right time. So let's get down to okay, business. We, uh, we have some feed ingredients. This is our skate. You make sure you have your skate. So this is our feed. I'm going to mix it with. So here, the first one we have here is just some concentrates mixed with some PKC. This is about 600 grams. Each of these weigh about 300, 300. It should not exceed 300, but they are not consistent with the measurements. So look at it. So I normally buy it in, 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 in bunch, in pack of eight. Okay, so two of this into 25 kg bag of feed. Just they call it booster, what it is concentrate. They normally tie it and set it in low end feed stocks here in Nigeria. Then this is um, full fat soya, very, very nice. This is my favorite. Each of these weigh about 183 to 200 grams, so it should not exceed 400 grams. I normally put two to 25 kg bag of feed. Then this is soya beans. If you don't find full fat soya, you can prepare your soya beans. This is the one we prepared. You roast it, you peel the back, make sure you peel the back because the back will prevent feed digestion and tea nutritive stuff. So you make sure you peel the back of it and roast it and grind. Okay, but if you find full, full fat soya, it is better you just use full fat soya. Yeah, we'll come here, we have a, yes, our bone meal. Because I normally miss this thing at four, uh, week four. In, in a normal process, I normally miss it at week four, where the bone is still forming, calcification is still in progress. My broiler chicken don't normally have uh, uh, paralysis due to overweight, because I make sure they have extra calcium in their feed. Then we come here, we have about this one here is fish meal. You have to be careful where you buy your fish meal because fish meal normally is, uh, gets spoiled quick. So I don't normally put it very well. Uh, fish meal is about 100 grams. Since you are putting soya beans or food salt soya, fish meal should be 100 grams. Okay. Then we come to this one here. This is blood meal. Blood meal here yeah, have about 100 grams of blood meal. You have to be careful as well. Why? Where you buy your blood meal, so most of them are contaminated. Blood meal and fish meal, you have to be careful. It's better you prepare it yourself. Ensure you get it from a trusted uh, place. Yet it's well prepared and roasted very well. Because they are numb, they are easily contaminated. Fish meal and then blood meal are easily contaminated. Okay? So we have about one, two, th three, four, and five ingredients. Although sometimes I do include PKC, we already have PKC in this concentrate I bought here, this booster. So we already have this concentrate and PKC inside here sometimes. If you are putting your PKC, you have to be very careful because it can stimulate uh, coccidiosis if it is too much. So this is what we have here. I'm going to mix them with our chicken feeds. Okay, so we are about to mix the feed ingredients in the poultry in the chicken feed. So as I said earlier, this is our concentrates. It should not exceed 600 grams. Each of this is about 300. 
so to 600 grams to 25 kg bag of feed so i'm going to just put it to make sure with all this so i get my food full fast soya it should not exceed 400 grams not a seed for the 400 grams you can put two of this and half but i'm just putting two now then we get our calcium this is our calcium for strong bones in case the weight starts coming so that the legs can carry the the weight because brother chicken grows very fast so the weight is normally it is not in proportion with the leg strength, so normally we normally add bone meal to ensure that it has extra calcium for weights. Then we have this come closer. So that's, this is our fish meal. Fish meal, 100 grams. You see, I've already weighed it. Make sure you use your weight. 100 grams. The fish meal should not exceed other grams and make sure you get your fish meal from a trusted supplier so that you will be sure of what you are giving your chicken they are normally contaminated so it it as well and the last one here the last one here I'm going to take So the last one here is your blood meal, your blood meal on 100 grams of this, 100 grams of this of your blood meal. So make sure you don't put it in excess. Okay, so this is the last one. Okay, it's almost ready to miss. Then you just miss it about four times. So how to come this way to miss. to this gradually like this so I move it this way the last time if you have misa if you have a misa you can use misa this is quite stressful just for a few back for a wide or a big flock about 2,000 bed or 5,000, 10,000. You have to look for the mixer or shovel, okay? For easy uh, process. Ooh, so meal is served. Ready to be given to the beds. We are all done. Okay, so in my last video, I talked about poor uniformity. This is one of the remedies for poor uniformity, supplementing your chicken feed with some feed ingredients for better growth. I measure at day 15 and day 21, yeah. You should start sorting your bed in case you experience poor uniformity. Then I normally start on a normal, I supplement feed at week 4. So I'll give them for one week, you see the changes. Most of the bed add about 3 um, grams. 200 grams after one week of adding this feed supplement and there's a change to save you a lot of money instead of buying high quality feed if you have the money to buy high quality feed 12,000 naira and so you can buy it but in any production we'll talk about cost reduction and making more profits so this is what I do with my normal feed I buy about uh, 7 to 8,000 naira instead of buying 12,000 naira so I'll just show you our last chicken that we're having started growth, but they are all big now and looking very healthy. So just follow me. So these are layers. So these are the last bed, the smallest during 
but now they're all looking big, nothing less than 4 kg. Each of these beds here. So they're looking so big, you can see. Uh, we thought this bird we're having a very small area, very small, but now look at the weight now four to five kg each of these beds here. About, about three months now, I know it has exceeded time for selling off, but these are the ones we kept for consumption. Okay, so this is what I normally do all the time. So Thank you for staying tuned. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, share, and see you next time on my next video. Bye bye.